Okay, do you think you can do it? Yeah. All right, do you see me? Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. Okay, so Polaroids are dope, and I think we can all agree on it. They're special because you can touch them and feel them and smell them, and you can stick them in your pocket, and you can take one and give it to your friend, and it's meaningful because it's the only one that exists in the world. And I know you have a stack of them somewhere from a wedding or from New Year's Eve or from your Dirty 30 birthday party. And some people might have a complete series from the first time you had a special gummy and it hit hard at 11.03 p.m. But how the f do they actually work? Okay, so I'm not a scientist, but I know that developing film is a super complicated process. Just think about it. You take a photo and then it captures it on the film. So then you go into some dingy dark room and you dip it in some crazy chemicals and then you let it dry and that freezes it in time. So then you can like put it in the enlarger to enlarge it and put it on some other paper to print it out or make duplicates or put it in your scrapbook or whatever. But somehow a Polaroid does it in like two minutes in a self-contained little dark room and it doesn't even have to be dark. And they started doing this 75 years ago in 1947. Edmund Land, the inventor of Polaroid, was already a successful businessman who had figured out how to manufacture sheets of polarizers by the time he was like 19. He had been obsessed with lights since he was a kid at summer camp, and he wanted to make car windshields and car headlights with polarizers to take away the glare when you were driving at night, which was really dangerous at the time. Anyways, the story goes, he was on vacation in Santa Fe in 1943, and he was taking pictures of his daughter with an old Rolleiflex twin lens camera, one of the most professional state-of-the-art cameras at the time, and they were having a great time, and his daughter wanted to see the photos. So this incredibly successful, creative inventor had to tell his daughter that it might be weeks before they saw the photos. They had to take the film to the drugstore, who would send it off to a lab, who would develop the film, who would send it back to the drugstore, and then they could get their photos back and they'd be able to see them. But her question, why can't we see them now, is what led him to come up with a camera that could spit out a developed photo immediately. And because he was the polarizer guy, they called it the Polaroid. So basically, a Polaroid is like 13 different layers of chemicals, different colored dyes with separation layers in between, and then the film material, all packaged in this nice white foil wrapper with a clear coating on top to keep everything contained. Something that's interesting about this is that the shape of the modern Polaroid is actually very intentional. This space at the bottom is where the chemicals are all kept. It's called the chemical pack. And whenever you squeeze the shutter on a Polaroid, it squeegees out the chemicals on top of the film and it starts the development process. So in total, the layers of this little package include a black backing to make sure none of the light gets through, it has a film negative, and then three colored layers, red, green, blue, with a little clear, coating on top to keep everything inside. It's amazing. The Polaroid was such a success that Kodak eventually copied the idea. Kodak had helped produce the film for the original Polaroid cameras, even though Edwin Land never talked about it, which kind of T.O'd Kodak. After they started making the cameras, there was a decades long lawsuit about who could rightfully sell the product. What's crazy is that after all that happened, Polaroid eventually won, Kodak had to take all their cameras off the shelves, but in 2008, Partly because the lawsuit drained so much resources and partly because of bad management, Polaroid was going into bankruptcy and was going to shut down. The only reason it was saved was because of these guys from the Impossible Project who had been selling Polaroid film online. They took over the factories, they started producing their own film, and that's actually who is producing the film and cameras now, under the brand name Polaroid. So the next time you see a Polaroid or Instax or any type of instant photo, don't take it for granted. It's a tiny little dark room in a cute little white square package. Is that fun or what? Cool. Hope you enjoyed that. It's really fun. Okay, now we just wait. Yeah, now we just wait like 10 minutes and it'll be ready.